The Night Before the New Pet by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Wummer. "'Twas the night before we got a new pet, and all through the house. All the chew toys were scattered. Squeak! went a rubber mouse. The fleece bed was set in my room with care. Soon a sweet little puppy will be sleeping right there. We went to the pet store to buy a collar and leash. Need a few treats? asked the clerk. Mom said, we'll take some of each. My sister wants a pony, but we're getting a pup. Let's get two pets, she begged. She just wouldn't give up. How about a gray bunny or a snow white chinchilla? Please, said my sister. We could name it Vanilla. It's settled, said Dad. One pet is enough. Then I get to name it. I'll call it Snuggle Fluff. That night we nestled all snug in our beds while visions of wagging tails danced in our heads. Early the next morning, Dad set up the crate. I put in a blanket and cried, Oh, I can't wait! We drove to the shelter. There were animals galore. Gerbils and pygmy goats. Oops! One piddled on the floor. There were all kinds of dogs, from big ones to small. Of course, my sister insisted she wanted them all. Then what to our wondering eyes should appear but a frisky little pooch with one floppy ear. His fur was so soft, his nose cold and wet. He was the cutest pup ever. The perfect new pet. He's a great dog said the lady, and he's part Yorkshire Terrier. Let's take him home, I said. Dad put him in the carrier. We were about to leave when we heard a mew. Oh, please, she's so cute. Can't we bring her home too? Dad picked up the kitten. She started to purr. Hello, precious, 
he cooed to the tiny ball of fur. What a total surprise to see Dad so smitten. Guess what happened next? We brought home a dog and a kitten. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story, The Night Before the New Pet. Grandma has had lots of pets, and when my children were growing up, we had lots and lots of pets. We've had ducks and rabbits, and we've had kittens, and guinea pigs, and hamsters, and frogs, and fish. We had a parrot. Lots of critters. Grandma loves pets, all different animals. And Grandma also knows that it is possible to come home with multiples because one time Grandma went to the pet store to get a snail for the frog's tank and I came home with a snail and a dog. <laughs> so Grandma knows how that can ha happen. Grandma also has chinchillas and I have a, a YouTube channel for my chinchillas, Mabel and Isabel. And if you look in the description below, you will see a link to their site and you can see them eating and jumping around and having a good time. So now I want you to click that thumbs up button if you have a pet or click that thumbs up button if you would like to get a pet. But most importantly, make sure you take care of your animals. Give them lots of love and some good treats. And make sure you come back for more stories by Grandma.